the show. Today I thought I would take a bit of a second and teach you how to play the main riff from our latest single, You Don't Want Me Here and Neither Do I. To begin, you'll need a guitar, and here's one I prepared earlier. So this is a Fender Squire something or something. It's a baritone. That's the most important thing you need to know about this guitar. So the tuning for this guitar is B, E, A, D, F sharp, B. So it's pretty much just like a standard guitar, but instead of being in E standard, it's in B standard. So it's kind of like you've added five extra frets on. Which means if you grab a capo and chuck it on the fifth fret, that's your normal guitar. For You Don't Want Me Here, I actually wrote this when I was teaching a music lesson. The student was warming up with, you know, one, two, three exercises, and I was kind of just noodling around and found this riff. It's in C sharp minor, so I went home and I put it on this thing, and it just sounds way better. Baritone guitar, capo, second fret. I also chuck um, on my pedal board, this is like the Vulture sound, I've got a Nano Pog by Electro Harmonics. It's pretty much an octave pedal and I just put, I put the octave up and the dry turned all the way down and then I turned the sub octave all the way up and then I split the channel through a bass amp and then the dry signal goes through a guitar amp. That's loud. So just on its own it sounds like this. When I put the bass on, the octave pedal, it sounds like this. So it really just kind of helps to add in a bit of extra depth to just the guitar. So the main riff pretty much goes as follows. Um, it's pretty much chugging on the open string, on the open C sharp a lot of the time. It's really, really easy. Um, this song gets away with a lot, it probably changes the riff about three different times, but for most of it, it's just... Your classic open 3-5 pattern, smoke in the water... And all those patterns use that sort of open 3-5 type of thing. Except instead of putting it in standard, I've moved it down to C sharp. So it's pretty much... I do like a little bit of a bend on the three. It kind of gives it that little bluesy kind of edge to it that makes it hard to... <laughs> pitch. <laughs> That's pretty much the main riff. Now for the next part, the you don't want me here part, you want to go to the third fret on the second string. You don't want me here and neither do I. much the whole thing. Now the very end riff, the final riff, again really simple. It's pretty much going up through the notes in that minor pentatonic scale. So yeah that's pretty much it, that's the sound on the original guitar it's played on. But I understand that not everyone owns a baritone guitar like this. This is how you play it on the um, on a standard guitar. I've still got the bass on just to kind of give it a bit more edge, but it's not going to have the sub octave because it's only going to drop it to as low as that guitar goes. There's a couple of different ways you can play it. I guess you can drop your top string down to C sharp and then play it all in one string, but that's a bit of a hassle because it is quite a steep drop down. So you're chugging on the C sharp on the top there, so that's ninth fret on the E string. And then you're moving to the minor third, which is this kind of pattern here. Kind of reverse or a power chord, but backwards. So you're going from 9 to the 7. It's a bit tricky.
tricky to play like this because you know you want to add that sort of chugging. Doesn't have quite the same effect, but you know you can kind of muck around with it a little bit. You can also play it C sharp and then going up to the 12th fret on the top string to the E. And that high note that you're hitting, the uh, that's the 9th fret on the A string. I got a long list of enemies, ex best friends, they all got history. I see them round in the crowds and they say, I don't want you here. That next part's pretty easy. So you want to go up to the. You can play it in two different positions. I'll show you the one up here because we're already up here. So you need to go 12, 12, 12, 12, and then 9 on the next string down on the D, and then back to the 12, and then to the 11 on the A string, and then back to the 9 on the D. So it's like, you don't want me here and neither do I. Same thing with the end riff, the exact same notes. So if you play like your minor pentatonic scale, it's just the first four notes of that pretty much. Great songwriting I know, but it just like, there's a reason why people use it, it just sounds so cool. parts in there as well but you know I'll let you figure them out. <laughs> I'll also have a link in the description box below to go check out this song on Ultimate Guitar um, and you can teach yourself that way as well using their services. So yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you stay safe and I'll see you next time. Bye. I don't want you here. Looks kind of cool. I like the red. Red looks good. Alright, boy.